Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just fired them all. That is not acceptable here. I won't allow it. First Lady Melania Trump just sent them packing. She released multiple people from their positions as she would not allow taxpayers to be ripped off for jobs that were simply not needed, quite contrary to the former First Lady, Michelle Obama. While Melania Trump takes on bigger roles and a more active schedule, she has proven herself to spend a lot less than what Obama did. This news comes about as Melania Trump runs one of the lightest East Wings in recent history. Michelle Obama was reported to have 16 people working under her, being paid a combined $1.24 million. Melania Trump's staff is only four people who earn a combined $486,700, much less in comparison to Obama. Knowing that Melania Trump refuses to hire 12 extra people to do jobs that can be handled by herself and four others is a wonderful bit of information as it reduces wasteful spending of the taxpayer money. Not carrying the extra staff for jobs that can be handled by fewer people is a step in the right direction towards reducing the amount of money spent by the administration and shows that Melania cares to be mindful in her position as the First Lady. That's an enjoyable quality for a First Lady to have as it spreads a message about being responsible and not overspending. Fox News reported more on Melania's smaller staff, the details are contained in an annual report the White House sends to Congress showing the names, positions and salaries of all its personnel. Both the Obama and Trump administrations acknowledged several additional staffers beyond those listed in the report with the term First Lady in their titles. But even counting all those employees, 24 for Michelle Obama and 9 for the current First Lady, Melania Trump's office is relatively small. It's an approach her spokeswoman says is intentional. As with all things that she does, she is being very deliberate in her hiring, focusing on quality over quantity, communications director Stephanie Grisham said in an email. It is important to her that the team is a good fit for what she wants to accomplish as First Lady, and that everyone works well together. She also wants to be mindful and responsible when it comes to taxpayer money. While the 2009 annual report listed 16 staffers for Michelle Obama, her press secretary said at the time the staff actually included 24 people. A 2009 factcheck.org story said Obama's 24 aides might have broken records. That may indeed be the largest of any First Lady. But Hillary Clinton, with 19 staffers, and Laura Bush with at least 18 and perhaps more, weren't far behind, factcheck.org said. Grisham told Fox News this week there are nine people working in the East Wing under Melania Trump, a few more than listed in the annual report. According to those personnel reports, Melania Trump's staffers include a chief of staff, a communications director, a deputy chief of staff and a deputy director of advance. Michelle Obama's staff included those same positions and a slew of others, additional press aides, a director of policy and projects, a personal aide, a traveling aide and a director of correspondence. Michelle Obama's office did not return a request for comment. Melania and Donald Trump will surely be criticized for this one way or another. The critics will say that Melania fired people instead of being resourceful and saving money for the White House and their presidency. While every president and first lady face critics, there has surely been an insufferable and increased amount of criticism has been levied towards the Trump family, with even Barron facing his own fierce barrage of harsh commentary from spiteful people who dislike the Trump family living in the White House. Donald and Melania work through the criticism, doing things to make many Americans in hopes that they're constantly doing right by the citizens. They will always face criticism from those who oppose their leadership, even though Trump won the presidency in a fair election well over one year ago. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.